Hi guys, welcome at this second knowledge clip on stress and well-being in millennials. My name is Joy Berrigs and in this video I will talk you through the Job Demands Resources model by Dema Uti and Bakker. The Job Demands Resources model explains that working individuals experience both job demands and job resources at their work. Job demands refer to those physical, psychological, social or organizational aspects of the job that are actually quite demanding, that put pressure on the individual. Job resources, on the other hand, refer to those physical, psychological, social or organizational aspects of the job that are functional in achieving your work goals, that may reduce those job demands um, that are associated with physiological and psychological costs, or that may even stimulate your personal growth, that stimulate learning, that stimulate development. So we see that an increase in job demands may actually result in strain because more pressure is put on the individual, which may in turn lead to more stress at their jobs and which over the long run, if the person doesn't recover enough, may actually result in burnout complaints. Job resources, on the other hand, may actually alle alleviate the job demands that are experienced, meaning that the more job resources someone experiences, so for example, when they experience great teamwork, a great supervisor, this may alleviate the negative effects of those job demands on their mental well-being. The coronavirus has caused a pandemic with more than 6.6 .6 million people infected as of June 5th, 2020. And also in the Netherlands, this has caused a lot of detrimental effects, not only regarding the physical health of Dutch inhabitants, no, it has also increased the job demands of work, working nurses at the intensive care departments. What we see in healthcare is that not only the work demands are high, so for example, nurses experience a lot of emotional demands by seeing what is happening at the intensive care, they also experience physical demands. So for example, by lifting patients from their beds. Besides that, they experience low job resources. In turn, this has actually caused a lot of strain in the past, which has even increased after the onset of COVID-19. Even though the healthcare employees received applause in the beginning of COVID-19, once it came to the crucial job resources, in this case receiving more salary, the Dutch government has decided not to meet those expectations. In turn, we see that the dissatisfaction of those employees in healthcare is increasing as their job demands have increased over time and their job resources are not sufficient enough to alleviate those demands. Now, if I were to critique this model, I would say that actually it only looks at the demands coming from your job and also the resources coming from your job. But in life, we see that we have different types of domains. You also have your private domain, your family domain. Besides that, there are online places. And this model actually forgets about those domains. It forgets about the fact that also at home you have some demands. Or at home you have some resources, such as cats you can play with or that don't want to play with you. So let's take a look at the study demands resources model, where we do take a look at the resources and the demands coming from your private life. Because we can also apply this model to a study setting. Also at school you may experience study-related stressors and non-study-related stressors. As such, this may result in strain reactions. I mean, you have probably also experienced stress in the past, right? However, in case you have enough personal resources, such as friends, family, sports, things that help you to cope with stress, or you maybe have some study resources, such as support from teachers, your study career coach, or maybe you have enough electronic appliances, such as a laptop that may help you to deal with the school demands. And this may also motivate you. As such, in case there is a balance between your stressors and resources, this results in study success. Now I know that times have changed. 
Currently, you're probably studying at home, maybe at your parents' place. You don't have the opportunity to come to school anymore. You don't have the opportunity to really go out and go to bars. So this has probably increased the study demands and non-study demands, and it has decreased your study and non-study resources. So I am actually very curious how you're currently experiencing this. And this is something we will reflect on upcoming seminar. So I want you to already think about this a bit. What is your current balance? Is everything in balance? Or are you not feeling so well because of the current situation? And what can we do about this? So I will see you guys next week during the seminar and looking forward to discuss this topic with you.